takes a bit. So hey, everybody. This is Kevin D again, and this is the 28th of September. And, uh, yeah, I've been retired. My retirement ceremony went over well. Will and I are out here doing some camping again at Land Between the Lakes. I got in front of me another Swedish torch. I'll show it to you here in a second. The last video I did of it did not turn out too well. And offline, people that did see it, it's only like 30-some views, told me that the video was crap. So, I'm out here again. So I'm going to show you the Swedish torch. Uh, is it in the camera? There we go. This is the Swedish torch right here. As you can see, I, I used my chainsaw. I made three cuts in it for more airflow this time. Because last time I think I only had maybe four. I don't remember. And I also made this hole a little bit wider so I can stuff stuff down inside there. The idea of a Swedish torch is... It'll burn all night, and you can use it in the evening for cooking and in the morning for breakfast. So, and you're only using one log. One log to do all your cooking. So my goal is to do that. I'm all, I have a pan, I got some water in the pan, and I'm going to pull it out of the river. And when I get the Swedish torch going, I'm going to boil the water. See how long it takes to boil the water. Just time it, and then we'll time it again in the morning after it's been burning all night to see how well it does. Maybe I won't even be able to use the pan because it'll burn down so much because this is an old log. This log's probably been drying in my backyard pile for at least two years. So we will see. We'll see how long it takes to from the ignition to the time it goes out. So I'll probably start it here in the next four or five minutes, and I will bring everybody back and show you guys once I get it going good. I don't want to waste your time. I want this to be another 10-minute video. So let me get moving. It's passing. <laughs> okay, folks, we're back. So what I've done here is I've taken one of these little uh, pine fire starters. I broke it down. I shoved it down in the cracks. I got some wood down into here. I got a little paper over here, some paper from the camping supplies that we brought with us. And I got a little bit of kindling already over here started. Some made some, some kindling over here. And I'm going to use some matches this time. Everything I got here, I got from the dollar store, so there's nothing spectacular. There's nothing that I went and specially ordered or, you know, made or anything like that. This is just all Dollar General stuff. So everything here is from Dollar General. Nothing special. Uh, well, what I wanted to use the matches for this time so I can get down there with the matches and get deeper inside there. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh... <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, but oh well. So, I'm going to sit back, let it go. Hopefully I got enough air in it this time. And we'll see how it takes off. So I'll, call, I'll bring you guys back in about another 5 to 10 minutes. My goal is to have like a minute every 20, 10 to 20 minutes until it gets started. And then after that, maybe every hour, 2 hours, something like that. Bring you back for 5 to 10 seconds to show you how it's going. Hey everybody, I wanted to bring you guys back. I put a lot of kindling on top of the on top of the Swedish torch here and you can't tell from your angle but down inside here it's actually it's going really good really really good better than I thought it would be so soon let me see if it, you can get down there and see it uh, I'm trying to get you too close but not too close enough to ruin my camera here but yeah it's going in the center now which that was the whole goal of this in the first place is to get it going I got this kindling on top to keep keep it going and I think the key for this is without drilling a deep hole in the center is to start the fire on top use one of those little pine um, fire starters that I used pack it down inside there and then start the fire and have kindling on top of here to get it going and then let the ashes fall down inside there as the piece of as the pine fire starter gets going so I'll bring you guys back in another 10 20 30 minutes maybe and we'll go from there hopefully I just didn't put it out but anyways we'll go from there Welcome back here again, everybody. So, as you can tell by looking down inside here, the hole has gotten a lot bigger. I'd say it's probably about two inches, two inches in distance from this point to this point, and then about an inch from here to here on the inside here. It is pretty coaly down there, if you want to say those terms, coaly. But uh, everything's burned off the top. I'm just kind of pushing it down inside there now just to let it keep going but the actual wood itself is on fire down inside there and yeah it is very hot so I can see how people say they can boil water on these very fast wow that's hot uh, 
I imagine if it was nighttime, you'd probably see a lot of flame in there, but it's, it's only 2.43 in the afternoon or 14.43 if you want to call it that. So you really can't get a good look at it unless you're looking straight down on there. But overall right now, I'm kind of impressed about this thing. And man, my hand, I might have got too close to it. But I will bring you back in another 5 to 10 minutes to show you more about it. And I think I'm going to wait a half hour before I try to put the water on there. All right, bye. Okay, welcome back. As you guys can see, the Swedish torch is um, smoking a lot. It was just up in flames. It's been 10 minutes now since you last on here. Actually, been 12 minutes, 2.54 now. And it is going pretty good downside there. I am not going to put my hand over top of it. Right there, I can feel the heat perfect. I'm not going to do like I did before. It's a little red right there now. But as I look down inside here, I'm going to try to bring you closer and let you look down inside there also. I hope you guys can see that, but there's a lot of flame down there, but it's hard to catch it. You have to catch it when there's overcast from the sunlight. But it's going pretty good right now, so I think at... Excuse me, 1554. I will try to put some water on there and let's see how long it takes to boil. I'll bring you back at 1554. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. It is now 1504, 304 for the civilian time. And what I have here is a cold bottle of water. Now, I just bought it out of the cold cooler. You can tell it's, it's cold. So I'm going to put it in here, what we use uh, to make coffee with. By the way, these things suck to make coffee with out here. Maybe I've been using it wrong for years. I don't think so. But I always have a bunch of coffee grounds in my um, coffee when I use these things. So I'm gonna put exactly one bottle of water in here. Cold right out of the cooler too, right? Yeah, this is cold right out of the cooler. I'm gonna close the lid. And I'm gonna set her right on top of here. And we will see how long it takes to boil. It is now 15.05. I will bring you back when it's boiling. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is now 1521 or 321 for you civilian folks. And the water is, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's definitely boiling. It's not a rolling boil, but it's boiling good enough for me. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's good enough for me. So I'm not for sure at the time. I think it was 1504 when we put it on there. And now... 15 21 so 16 17 minutes 16 minutes and it's boiling but it's not a rolling boil well i say that now it's almost a rolling boil but that was just one uh one bottle of water i put in here to get it going it'd be good enough to cook with i guess so that's the results and we will do this again if anything's left in the morning and from here on out i'll bring you back every hour maybe every two hours and just show you how everything's going Okay, until then, bye. Back. It's only been a couple minutes, but it's 1524 now, and it is a rolling boil. So I would say 15, 20 minutes to get it to a boil. 20 minutes. I can't remember exactly what time it was when we put it on there. But yeah, it's a rolling boil now, so the Swedish torch, one log, one log cut perfectly, cut in the right area, is boiling water. I know I could cook on this. I know I could survive on this if I had to. One piece of wood versus everything else I have stacked up over here, which you can't see right now. But this video is just on the Swedish torch. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna pick that up. Uh, I got some gloves. Let me just take this off of here. Set it down. That's too hot to touch. But is anybody else that's watching this video and knows the proper way of using these coffee makers that I have here and does not get coffee grounds in their coffee, please let me know. I mean, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but let me know because those things are terrible. Terrible. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Uh, Will talked me into doing a little bit more explaining to what I did to set this torch up. So if you notice on my cuts here, I went about 55 to 60% down. 
And the reason why I did that is because I want it to burn down to a certain point in there where it makes it harder to burn and more coals develop and it'll last longer. <laughs> there was a joke there, but I'm not gonna go there. Um, so yeah, I made the cuts 60%, 55, 60% down. And if you could see where I'm seeing right now, it's beet red inside. It's as hot as Hades right now inside there. Uh, I actually tested it a while ago and I put a piece of green wood down inside there, probably about five to 10 minutes ago. Green wood. And if you can look down inside there, you'll see it. And it's been exactly five to seven minutes since I put that piece of green wood in there. And as you can tell, it's already charcoal. So this fire, this torch right now would definitely cook on. It'd probably burn your food. Um, I just made three cuts, one here, one here, and one here. That's all I did with the chainsaw. I went down 55 to 60% of the, of the depth. And that's it. And you've seen how I started the fire. I used the kindling on top. I put one of the uh, pine uh, tumbleweeds is what they're called. I got them from the Dollar General store, General Dollar, whatever you call it. And I always buy them whenever I see them in stock because they're great to start fires with. And I stuffed that downside there, put some kindling on top, and that's all I've done to this thing. And it helps to have a piece of dry wood too. This wood's been like in my backyard for a couple of years now. So yeah, that's basically all there is to it. So if you wanna go camping and you don't wanna bring a lot of firewood with you, this is a great hack right here. Great hack. You could cook whatever you want on it. You could boil whatever you want on it. And you know, we started maybe too early in the day for it to last to the morning, but we'll see. Everything is up in the air right now. It's all up to speculation right now. We will see how long this thing lasts. My thinking is it's gonna start burning these legs off here and they'll burn down until it gets to the bottom right here where I made the cuts and it'll just be a bunch of coals. I don't think it's gonna burn all the way down to here. I think it's gonna burn all the way down, but we will see. If it burns the whole thing, I'm gonna be shocked. If it burns just straight down and then it finally puts itself out, that's what I'm expecting it to do. Burn straight down in the middle, but not touch the outside. We'll see. We will see. Hey, welcome back everybody to the Swedish torch episode. Uh, bring you in for a little close up on the Swedish torch. It is now 1609-1609. So if you can do the math in your head from when I started till now, you can see how good the Swedish torch is going. Once again, I think this is a camping hack for those that don't want to bring a lot of wood out and only have one log and the use of a chainsaw. Or maybe you know somebody that has a chainsaw, they can make the three cuts for you. Just have a piece of dry wood, excuse me, a piece of dry wood, and there you go. You don't need a great big campfire. It's been burning for a few hours now, and I have a feeling it's going to burn for a lot longer. So once again, I'll bring you guys back in another hour and show you how everything's going. Hey everybody, welcome back. I want to bring you back and show you the Swedish torch again. It is now 1633. For you civilians out there, it's 433 in the afternoon. As you can tell, it's still going. It looks pretty good. Everybody, welcome back. It is now 1707, and you can see the condition of the Swedish torch. I always thought it was really cool. Uh, I'll bring you in for a close-up. The worse the weather, the... 1707. This is thoroughly, truly dry wood. As dry as you can possibly get, other than it, like, falling apart. So, it is what it is. Like I said, right here's the line. Oh, here's the line where I stopped cutting the wood with the chainsaw, and as you can tell, it's not really a lot there. No. It was the same, it was the it's same still pretty st oh, gosh. Over there. You know, Bless America. So, yes, it is very like, hot. Oh, actually, very, you know, very hot. Sound like you've done this before. I'm like, yeah, Learn from my mistakes. Don't ever do that. You know, the, same, the same phrases. But if you over Lessons learned. And, uh, Anyways, continuing on, Korea, as you can tell, I don't know if I can get this training. pot back on there or not. It was pretty much the same shit I learned the first time, but... Uh, I, nope. I don't know. You know you think you so you definitely couldn't boil coffee on it. However, like however, you could take my grill that's over there 
cover the accent as and point over top of it really and you could cook whatever you wanted to so I hope you've seen all that the grill the grills over there you can see it and the Swedish torch is right there so if you had the grill Swedish torch I don't remember what time we started this but it's now 1708 508 for you civilians and, it's actually, and yeah this is, is what it's doing bit, the numbers, uh, so I'll bring you back in a little bit roads, bye Hey everybody, welcome back. It is now 1800, 6 p.m. for you civilians. And you can see where the Swedish torch is at. A lot of the arms have burnt down. And like I had predicted, the base is still there. I don't know how well the base will stay. We'll just have to wait and see. Maybe in the future I'll cut it all the way down about 90% or 95% or maybe 80%. I don't know yet. But, uh... Yeah, this is where it's at now, so it would definitely not last the entire night. If he's going for eight hours of sleep, it would not last eight hours of sleep. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm standing at right now. You could definitely cook one good meal on it. It would, it would definitely last all night. I'm not saying that. It wouldn't. What I'm saying is it will last all night, and you can get another fire going from it. Because the coals will definitely be hot. There's smoke coming off of it. Um, yeah, so this is a Swedish torch, maybe 12 inches across, 12 inches wide, that's what I'm guessing at, on the forestry standards, and yeah, but it lasts this long. Imagine if you had a log about 36 inches in diameter, or 24, or maybe 48. Yeah, that would last you overnight and some. So think about this, next time you go out to the camping and you don't have a lot of firewood, but you can find a big log, maybe four foot in diameter is a big log. 36 in diameter would be great. This was probably about 12 inches in diameter. So if you got one that's 24 to 36 inches, I think it would last you more than enough night. Enough of the night. I could bring my grill over and set it on top of this and probably cook off of it. And go from there but i really don't want to right now because there's a lot of rocky ground around here and it's getting late in the evening the sun is setting and it's probably my last video of this swedish torch for the night uh like i said earlier it's 18 it's 1802 now but i just want to let everybody know what's going on thank you and have a wonderful night bye well good morning for me i don't know what time it is for you it's just a matter of seconds that went by for you but all night went by. As you can tell, the Swedish torch stopped burning where I thought it would, right in here. Uh, there's not a hot coal in here from what I can see. Uh, trying to find, yeah, my cuts. You can see my cuts now. So it didn't burn completely down all the way to the end of my cuts. And it kind of left Batman ears going on here. But once again, one log did manage to boil water you could have cooked on it you could have done a lot of things on it one log i know next time to cut it at least 90 percent down and leave it at that but this is the swedish torch conclusion of my video it does work for people that don't want to have a lot of firewood out here and can find a chunk of wood like this size and have access to a chainsaw or maybe a friend's chainsaw or just acquaintance's chainsaw or maybe even the guy that you got the log um, the wood from the man or the woman you got the log from ask him to make that cut make it 90 percent down start it up boom you have yourself a campfire and everything you need to boil cook do what you need to do but i appreciate everybody watching this i appreciate your time i hope you guys have a wonderful day and may god bless you all kevin d out